But we're going to go Ravens and Colts here. And we're going to just look at Lamar Jackson kind of in this, this second half. Let's watch him throwing the ball because we always look at his stats and we're like, oh, he never throws for 200 yards. The completion percentage is always pretty good. It's always pretty much high 60%. Um, but let's see where this accuracy is. We see, we see a lot of dink and dunk. We don't see a lot of 200-yard games from Lamar Jackson. So let's just kind of keep a tab. We haven't really watched Lamar Jackson all season, and that is my fault. I have not been watching him on our Wednesday film. Film studies. So let's watch him now. He had a pretty good second half. So we'll go here in the third quarter. Watch these two touchdown drives by Lamar Jackson and just get a kind of a better feel of what this Baltimore offense is all about because we kind of know they struggle against the top tier teams. Let's see if we can get some insight of about that let's see the accuracy of Lamar Jackson let's see kind of the plays they're calling I don't think they run a lot downfield plays that's why Lamar Jackson never has you know those 200 yard games um, so here we go we'll start it here 1058 in the third quarter for Baltimore and we'll watch some touchdown drives by Lamar Jackson um what I don't even remember what time I said 1058 there we go Alrighty, 10.58. We're already right there. Wow. Crazy. Alrighty, here we go. Starting here. Baltimore. Great starting field position. Lamar Jackson roll out to the right, making all these defenders miss, and he still only picks uh, he still picks up three yards on on that shiftiness. He, the, I mean, nobody's questioning this man's speed at all, folks. Truly, but that was kind of great defense by the Colts, not letting Lamar Jackson run wild. I mean, he only picked up three yards, and he had to run all the way to the sideline, and then only pick up three. So. Making them work for it. All right, here we go. Second and seven, Lamar Jackson. Play action pass. Look at that clean pocket for him to throw a beautiful ball. Okay, okay. See, this is the best throw I've seen today, and we just watched three straight drives of Josh Allen. This is a beautiful ball, folks. Clean pocket. Delivers kind of a tight strike here. They're not going to replay it, so we are going to have to replay it ourselves here. Here it is. Just look at this clean pocket, folks. Look at this clean pocket, and he delivers an absolute ball between two defenders right here. Look at that. Wow. Beautiful ball. Wide open. Uh, not even wide open. It's just kind of a tight throw in the zone. And Lamar Jackson, well done offensive line, giving him the clean pocket and just the arm strength of Lamar Jackson to fit that ball in there. Super impressed by that. See, I wanted to see that from Josh Allen. I wanted to praise Josh Allen, but we never saw anything close to that, and we watched three straight drives by the man. All right, here we go. Lamar Jackson on the 30-yard line, driving. Look at the read option. Yes, he's got it. He's got it, and he picks up another three yards. So well done on the read option. Cameraman fell for it. I couldn't even tell. So that's just great magician work. Lamar Jackson knows kind of, kind of how to knows how to kind of hide the ball as he's pulling it out as he holds it in there. So I mean, he he he's mastered the read option. That really should be no surprise. That's what he does. He's a dual threat quarterback. So picked up a four on that um, kind of read option. Oh, hang on. We, we skipped a play. We went so fast, we skipped a play. All right, here we go. Second and six. Uh, second and six now. Lamar Jackson. Once again, a little play action pass. And the pocket was pl pretty clean. Somebody was coming right kind of at that last second. But, you know, that was a solid three seconds in the pocket where it wasn't even breaking down. So I am kind of a big fan of this uh, Ravens offensive line. And you kind of have to have a good offensive line when you have a mobile quarterback. You kind of have to just, um, you know, know when to, you know, let go your blocks because he's actually going to run upfield. And you have to protect him a little bit more than you would uh, just a pure passer. So well done because the pocket shifts the entire game. So we've been seeing clean pockets here from Baltimore in the second half. Fantastic. I love to see it. All right. Lamar Jackson in the red zone. Just a nice shovel pass to is that Dobbins. Is it 27 Dobbins. What do we got there? Uh, yeah, it is JK Dobbins. Well done. All right. Second and five. Now Lamar Jackson continuing to drive. Trying to put up a touchdown here in the second half. Officially take the lead. 
Lamar Jackson, another read option, and just everything is just kind of based on that read option. Everything's kind of, you know, at the line of scrimmage, a little dink off, little dump offs. Um, you know, we did have that nice 15 yard strike down the middle to start the drive, but, you know, we are kind of seeing what this Ravens offense is. Now we're kind of getting a bit better feel of why, when we look at Lamar Jackson every week, he's only got 170 yards in the stat column. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. That's why I love this Ravens team because of their running back. Their running back by committee is absolutely fantastic. We get uh, Edwards here. Uh, so we had J.K. Dobbins on the nice pitch. We got Edwards here, the power back. Look at him go through the line and absorbs contact and picks up about two yards after contact here. Absolutely fantastic. Great beef, run great beef runner. Now that puts him on the goal line. First and goal from the two. Lamar Jackson hands it off to Edwards again. Edwards fighting, still fighting. Unfortunately, he did not pick up anything, but look at the fight. Look at the hustle. Keeps his legs churning. You love to see that. Great effort. All right, second and goal now. The Colts defense trying to clamp up here, but Lamar Jackson, I feel, is going to have a trick up his sleeve. No, they just go pure. They go pure again, pure running again with Edwards. They're going to call him down at the one. Edwards does not like that. He's like, hang on, I fought for all this yards. I want the touchdown. Oh, and I think we have to give it to him. On second look, I think we give it to him. Look at Edwards, just power football think he's down right there but they're not even going to challenge it they're like we, we feel confident again we're just going to run it again with Edwards and they do three straight rushes with Edwards I love it here by Baltimore no tricks just treat baby touchdown three straight plays three straight runs kind of right up the middle a little to the left off center off the tackle so well done there by Baltimore I love the play calling not letting Lamar Jackson just do everything it would have been so simple just to do kind of a read option there with Lamar Jackson to have him sprint to the outside I mean it would have been simple to do that but they just stick with their guns we've got running backs here folks we've got running backs on deck here and we're going to use them so well done there Gus Edwards three straight runs finally able to punch it in love it I love that drive by Raven by the Ravens I truly did we got a great Lamar Jackson pass. We got some nice Lamar Jackson picking up three yards. And then we got power football down on the goal line. I love it. All right, now let's go to their second touchdown drive. I mean, this is their next drive, and they went down and scored another touchdown. So the offense was finally able to kind of click here in the third quarter. So let's go here, 431 in the third quarter. And we'll look at kind of hopefully this Ravens drive is showing us the same exact things that we just saw because I was pretty impressed with it. Alrighty, Ravens starting at, you know, their own 25, so they didn't have that good starting position. We saw it was kind of off, in, off of an interception, so they have to kind of go the classic, the entire length of the field, um, you know, 75 yards. So Lamar Jackson there, wide open throw, and he puts it right on the money, and it picks up, you know, the first down, so well done. All right, Lamar Jackson, clean pocket, starts to escape. But look at that. He doesn't want to run. He wants to kind of keep his eyes down the field. I mean, he could have kept this and picked up the same exact amount of yards, maybe even a couple more. But he keeps his eyes down the field, sees the wide open receiver, and dumps it off. Well done. If I don't have to run, I'm not going to run. Should be Lamar Jackson's motto. And look at them. They, I think they go back to Gus Edwards here on second and one. They can run at any point. They can run at any point with the quarterback. So, I mean, you really just have to be on your toes when you face this Ravens D or Ravens offense. I mean, the Steelers forced four turnovers last week, and they still only won by four against the Ravens. So that's how well this offense really can adapt. And just so many pieces, so many things you have to watch for, so many things you have to game plan for on this Ravens offense. It's truly hard. We get uh, J.K. Dobbins in the game for the Ravens here. Let's see if they utilize him. He's more of a speed back than Gus Edwards. So let's see what we get here. First and 10, Lamar Jackson, play action pass. Look at that. Look at all the time. And then he finally decides to run. And just like that, he can pick up five yards just quick like that. Just so quick, so quick. The speed of Lamar Jackson, the agileness, the kind of quick swiftness, the lateral quickness of this man is just its just something that Lamar or, um, Patrick Mahomes doesn't really have. Kyler Murray kind of has it. All righty, here we go. Second and five. Let's see what we get. 
and then they go and hand it off. No, they don't. Lamar Jackson, he keeps it, and he's still able to make a yard out of it. Nothing too great. Chiefs or The Colts really kind of shut that play down. That was the first time they kind of stopped Lamar Jackson from running, and they still gave up a yard. Alrighty, third and four. Huge, huge pickup here. They have to pick this up to keep the drive moving, to, cheat, to keep the drive going, to try and get some points out of this drive. Let's see what they draw up here. A pure pass play. Lamar Jackson. Oh, he tries to do too much. He tries to step up in the pocket, and now we're going to get fourth and two. So this is not a good sign here. Lamar Jackson wanted to run it here. And we get a wide open receiver coming across the middle on a nice little slant route. And Lamar Jackson doesn't hold for him. Not great here. Not great. Not great decision making. I mean, uh, I, I missed this. All. I mean, folks, right here. Let me back this up a little bit. All right, here we go. Lamar Jackson. I mean, right here. The slant, he's going to be coming across the middle. He's open right here. You have to throw it right here. He picks up the first all day. And right now, I get that the pocket is collapsing at this moment, but he still had the chance to dump it off. Decides to take it off with it. Not able to pick up the first down. So it did like he won, did look like he wanted to run there on the first, on the to pick up that first down. Not great. Not great. Fourth and two, though. They're going to go for this. Oh, boy. They take a timeout first, fourth, fourth and three. Let's see what they come up with here. This will tell a lot of kind of what John Harbaugh feels the most comfortable with. You need three yards. What is your best play? It's a read option with J.K. Dobbins to the uh, to the stretch to the sideline, and it picks up exactly three yards. So this is kind of what they feel the most confident with. You run your most confident play. What you feel will work, and it's a read option with Lamar Jackson handing off the ball to J.K. Dobbins for the stretch play all the way to the right. Great blocking job by the receivers up here. Receivers never get credit for blocking, but look at the, these receivers go right at the point of attack. Blew them off the kind of that uh, first down marker, allowed J.K. Dobbins to go pick it up. So great aggressiveness, fourth and three, great play call, great play execution. You love to see it. And they pick up the first, continuing the drive, and we know that they pick up a touchdown. So, I mean, it was well worth it. All right, so Baltimore still up four at the start of the fourth quarter. Once again, handed off to J.K. Dobbins, and he picks up about three. All right, second and seven. Lamar Jackson. He's going to escape the pocket, and he feels like he has all the daylight ahead of him, and he picks up seven and the first. Seeing a lot of runs. I mean, this is just kind of, this is the offense. Play action, read option, play action, read option. Designed run by Lamar Jackson. Handed off to our great running backs. Now we got Gus Edwards in the game. He picks up five yards on the rush. Lamar Jackson, empty backfield. A lot of, you know, pre-snap motion. So all it is, it's all this Ravens offense is. It's just misdirection after misdirection. You better be playing every option because we will be utilizing every option. No doubt. You cannot take a play off defensively when you're facing this Ravens offense, folks. You truly cannot. You will get burned by literally one of their 11 <laughs> offensive pieces. The linemen will burn you if you overlook them. They were handed off there, and it picks up eight. That's what's great about it. They, you know, they kind of gas you, you know, chasing Lamar Jackson, and then they'll gas you by going run after run up the middle, power, speed. It doesn't matter. So that's kind of what this Ravens offense is wearing you down. Third and inches now. The run picked up a couple of yards. Let's see Lamar Jackson work in the in the red zone again. We saw they went heavy rush on kind of the goal line last time. This time it sets it up. Lamar Jackson, he's going to take it all the way. That's what it does. Oh, you guys run all the time on kind of third and short. We're going to play that. Oh, now Lamar Jackson. So that's what's so great. I mean, at any point they can make it a read option play, and Lamar Jackson's going to keep it. I mean, it's just so hard to defend it. Look at this. Just everybody bites. Everybody bites. 
Everybody bites because you're going to sell out third in, third in inches. We got to sell out the run. But uh, they didn't sell out the right type of run. Should have sold out quarterback run, not running back run. Alrighty, so that's the Ravens offense, and I and I like it. I liked what I saw from it. Truly did. So that's what we got from the Ravens. That's what we got from Lamar Jackson. Some good, solid drives there in the second half, finally figuring it out.